Who's going to say no to $8,500? Yeah, nobody, right? So, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so let's move on. And the first thing that you have to think about is if you are an athlete, who's going to do the recruiting? Are you just going to wake up one day and the coach at, at Purdue is going to call you up and say, hey, I want you to come and play on my team? It's not going to happen. Okay? The recruiting process is your responsibility, you as the student. And, um, yeah. So your high, uh, so the process lays on, on in, your, in your plate, so to speak, that you need to do the research with figuring out which colleges it is that you're thinking about attending and open up the communications between you and the college coach. And your high school coach or, uh, uh, or, or even our services can help you with determining what colleges are best fit for you guys. And, and finding out what, uh, uh, whether or not the, the what, what the college has in regards to teams, whether they're Division One, Two, Three, etc., and all of that. Okay. Um, don't be the high school parent who says, "I thought our coach was was going to take care of all of this, uh, all of this recruiting process for my child." Uh, it, again, I want to stress that that you're not going to be discovered. And if, you, if your desire really is that you want to play uh, at the collegiate level, you have to open up the communications between the student, you the student, and the college coach, okay? Success in recruiting is about matching up your son or daughter's academic talents, their athletic talents, and their desires with a given college program. The families that hit the mark the closest in finding athletic, academic, and social matches are the ones who usually have the best success in, recruit, in the recruiting process. Okay? Many students put themselves uh, uh, in a position to fail simply because they're following the masses. Can anybody name, give me a brand name college? Anybody? Come on. Pardon? Penn State, anybody else? UCLA. 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 University of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> A brand name. Okay. Pardon? Not, I don't think that's a college. Um, here's the problem is, is that if you're going to follow the masses, and, and some of the brand name colleges that you guys all know about, Harvard, Stanford, Yale, etc. Um, the when, you, when you're researching your colleges, the one thing that you need to look at is what's the admissions ratio for a particular college. For example, Harvard received last year over 25,000 applications. And of that, they only accepted 8%. So what that tells me is that for every 1,000 students that applied, how many got accepted? Like 80 out of that. Not, it's not a very high number. So we need to look at we need to look at that statistic as well. What the app, what the application admittance ratio is. So um, keep your my point is keep your mind open for selecting colleges. There's over 4,000 colleges in the United States. And, and, I'm, and I'm sure that there's going to be two or three or four that would be absolutely perfect for you, for your students in that. It's just a matter of discovering what those colleges are. Okay, now you want to play in college, what do we have to do? Well, the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to get into college. And again, how do we go about doing that? We're going to do that by getting the best grades that we can possible. Now, the student that has a 2.0 GPA is going to have less opportunities than someone who's got a 3.8 GPA. So again, do your best in, in getting the best grades that you can and get extra help if you need to. Uh, talk with your teachers or your guidance counselors on getting some, some extra, extra help in increasing your grades in that. Because if your grades aren't there, there's nothing that the college coach can do to get you into that school, regardless of your talent and your ability. <coughs> 